Hey everybody, welcome to our first prop tutorial video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make this awesome 3D printed Captain Rex helmet from the Clone Wars. Let's get started. First, we are going to print all the parts we need for the helmet. I cut my helmet into four main pieces. The top dome, the back, and two face pieces. Also, don't forget the detail pieces, the two breathers and the two bolts. I just printed those pieces along with the back of the helmet. And you don't need to have all the pieces printed when you start working on the helmet. Next, I use some 150 grit sandpaper to smooth down some of the print lines on the top piece. You only need to sand where there's bigger imperfections or where the print lines are really showing. I slightly sanded the bottom of the dome so the other pieces would attach firmly. Make sure not to go too heavy on the step or the pieces won't fit together evenly. Once you're done sanding, we are going to apply this Bondo glazing and spot putty. This is going to be filling in the majority of the print lines. You're going to want to apply it pretty generously over the whole dome. Also, it's important to note that this stuff is not good for you, so you should be wearing a mask and gloves and be in a well ventilated area while doing this step. You're probably going to need about one tube of Bondo for the whole helmet. When you're done with that, just let it sit for 30 minutes to an hour. After that, we're going to be sanding it with more 150 grit sandpaper. Make sure to sand everywhere on this piece. Just make sure not to sand too much. It probably won't be 100% smooth at this point, so don't worry about it. This whole project is going to need a lot of sanding, so be prepared for that. Eventually, your dome piece is going to look something like this. When you're done sanding it, we're going to apply a coat of Rust Oleum Sandable Filler Primer. I waited about 4 hours after applying the filler primer to start sanding it. You really don't want to go too heavy on this step, just sand some of the raised areas down. When you're done sanding the dome, it should look something like this. You might still have a couple rough surfaces, so just apply Bondo to those places and sand it down. After that, just go ahead and add one more coat of filler primer. Next, I just lightly sand it over the whole dome. For the breather pieces, just apply the Bondo, then sand it down. Then you're going to coat it with the filler primer. After that dried, I just painted it with black acrylic paint. Then paint on the small gray circles on the front of the breathers. With the next piece, we're gonna start by sanding out all the imperfections. After done sanding the back piece, I taped that and the dome together with masking tape. That's just gonna hold it in position while we super glue it. Only use a little bit of super glue. This is just holding it in place while we smooth the two pieces out. We're going to make this back piece detachable with magnets. Next, use hot glue to attach elastic bands to the inside of the helmet. I went back over the elastic with more hot glue to reinforce it. Next, use the Bondo glazing and spot putty to coat the whole back piece. Sand it all down, then use the filler primer. Keep using Bondo filler primer and sanding it until it's all smooth. Then we're going to start on the face pieces by filing the holes where the bolts go. Make sure the bolts fit in tightly. Go ahead and apply the Bondo putty to the bolts. Once it's dry and you've sanded it, paint it with dark gray acrylic paint. I taped both face pieces together, then super glued them. If you have a big enough printer, you can just print the face in one piece. Once the super glue is dry, you can use a soldering iron to weld the two face pieces together. This is going to reinforce the connection between the two pieces. After that, go ahead and peel the tape off. I went back with a piece of filament and melted it onto the seam to make it even stronger. Next, super glue the face piece onto the dome. For the weld lines on the face piece, trace out where you want them, then use a soldering iron to melt on some filament. When you're done with that, you'll have some nice looking weld lines. Then we're going to finish smoothing the whole helmet. Use the Bondo to cover the whole face. 
After that, go ahead and sand down all the Bondo. I know it seems like a lot of sanding, but this will make the helmet look 10 times better when it's done. Next, go ahead and use filler primer to cover the whole helmet. You're probably going to have to use more Bondo and do more sanding. After that, use plastic wrap to divide the front and back piece of the helmet. Use epoxy putty to secure the magnets on the front and back side of the helmet. Once the putty dries, use super glue to make the bond even stronger. Then we're going to coat the whole helmet in a couple layers of gloss white spray paint. This should make your helmet look nice and shiny. I used acrylic paint for all the blue details. Tape off the areas that you don't want paint on. For these details on top, I traced an image of them on the masking tape, then cut out the masking tape in that pattern. I then placed my masking tape stencil on the helmet, then painted inside of it. Use a knife to scrape off bits of the blue paint to reveal the white paint underneath. This will give it the appearance of battle damage. Use some low grit sandpaper to scratch off bits of the blue paint. Tape off the areas around the teeth, then paint the inside with dark gray. Highlight the front of the teeth with the paint a little bit lighter gray than the paint you just used. I used pencil to sketch out the lines on the side of the helmet, then covered it with permanent marker. Use acrylic paint and masking tape for this detail on the left side of the helmet. Once it's dry, add the battle damage. Use a knife to go around the edge of the masking tape to separate the tape from the paint. Then gently peel it off. In the next step, mix some orange and brown paint and use a paper towel to dab it onto the weld lines. Do the same thing on top of that with plain brown paint. Next, brush on blue paint around the edge of the weld lines. When you're done with that, brush a lighter blue paint on top of the weld lines. Do the same thing on the sides and over the top of the visor. Next, scrape off some of the paint where the breathers go and super glue them in place. The next step is weathering. This is optional, but I think it makes the helmet look a lot cooler. Water down some black paint so it's about half paint and half water. Apply the mixture generously on the helmet and use a paper towel to dab it off. Some of the black paint will be left on the helmet, giving it a worn and weathered appearance. After that, I cut out a piece of a clear face shield and applied window film to it. I used hot glue to make sure the window film wouldn't peel off. Finally, I hot glued the visor inside the helmet. After that, we're left with this awesome Captain Rex helmet. This is the end of the video, thank you for watching. I'm hoping to have a rangefinder video out soon. Let me know which prop tutorials you'd like to see me do next. I'll see you later.